my spicy margarita, baby. <gasps> Good afternoon, Mr. Derulo. How can I assist you? How do I recline my seat? To recline your seat will be $100, or you can sign my shoe. I don't think you're supposed to ask me that. If you look on the back of your boarding pass, it says right here under terms and conditions. This is kind of crazy. Can I at least get a blanket? It's cold in here. Certainly, sir. That'll be $500. Or you can just sing me a part of your latest song. You know how much you get paid for a show? You're my spicy margarita, the voice of an angel, sir. Can I also get something to eat? That'll be $1,000. Or you can take me out on a date when we land. Now you're just making shit up. I would never do that. It says right here on the menu. There's no way I'm doing that. If you don't want to follow the rules, you need to get off the plane. Girl, you crazy. Couldn't even wait for the rule. Excuse me, I would like to report some suspicious activity. Okay. I saw a passenger steal things from the plane and put it under his jacket. I don't know what he stole, but I just wanted to let you know. Not again. <gasps> hey, you. I know you're not sleeping. Woke me up from my beauty sleep. Someone saw you steal things from the plane. Cough it up. Fine, you caught me. Oh, these are free. You won't get in trouble for that. Coffee's also free, right? The coffee's free, but not the coffee maker. <laughs> How did you even get this? Blankets are free, right? So that means jackets are too? You can't take that. That's for emergencies only. Well, this is free, right? Because he gave them to me. <gasps> no, he's not free. Did anyone lose a dog? Oh. What's this? Am I in trouble? Yeah. You're going to jail. Hi. So, how long have you been a flight attendant for? So, uh, do you have any tips to deal with jet lag? Do you have any recommendations in Phoenix? Maybe she didn't hear you. Do you have any recommendations in Phoenix? Sorry, I've been a flight attendant for four years. Try taking melatonin and go to Scottsdale. They have amazing parties. Why were you ignoring us before? Oh, I was just doing my silent review, you know. Crew needs to do this during takeoff and landing in case of emergencies. I can save your life just so, you know, you won't die. <gasps> Hi, sweetie. What are you doing here? Where's your mom? <gasps> my mom is sleeping in the back of the plane. Okay, well, you shouldn't be here, so let me take you back, okay? Okay. Oh, oh, are you hungry? <gasps> yeah. Okay, when I take you back to your mom, I'll have the nice flight attendants give you a snack. But they just have peanuts back there. Can I have those snacks? Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. These snacks are reserved. Okay, nothing could ever happen on my birthday anyways. It's your birthday? Yes. Happy birthday, honey, but we really need to go back to your mom, okay? Okay. Excuse me, ma'am, I found your daughter over in first class. <sighs> oh, oh, so, so sorry, uh, I was just sleeping. Also, don't tell anyone, but happy birthday. <gasps> It will be in 240 days. Hi, is there anyone sitting in the middle seat? Oh, oh no. <laughs> uh, never mind. Sorry for bothering you. Hi, is anyone sitting there? Are you going to make me a new side friend? And we can be best friends if we want. Miss Rachel, we play with my toys. Yeah, we can be my best friend. Excuse me, is that middle seat taken? Attack! Actually, I think I see another seat. Thank you, though. Good. Yay! High five! Good job! Things in hotel rooms you can take. Shampoo, Free. conditioner, body wash, amenity kit. Free! Towels. Not free. Toilet paper. My mom says it's free. Hangers. Not free. Coffee station. Free.
Not free, not free, not free. Water. Sometimes free, but you better check it before you drink it because if it's not free, then you're going to be charged $1,000. Things on the plane you can keep. Earplugs. Eye shades. Hand soap. Decoration. Amenity kits. Expensive looking headphones. Pillow. Slippers. A free loading set. You can take. Sweetie, so I'm gonna take you back to your mom, okay? But it's nicer here. I know. I'm so sorry, honey. I really need to take you back to your mom. I guess I'll never get to sit in the nice part of the plane before I die. Pardon me? I found out I'm dying. Oh my god. Um, sweetie, uh, just stay here for just a moment, okay? Excuse me, ma'am. Oh, oh, can you please grab your things? I'll be moving you to first class. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Hi, Emma. Oh, oh, we really hope that you both enjoy the rest of your flight. And if you need anything, anything at all, just let us know, okay? Oh. Thank you very much. Yeah, 어떻게 된 거야? I told them I was dying. What? You're not dying? We all gotta die sometime. Please wait, I'm on that flight. Oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. The gate is closed now. You'll need to catch the next flight. No, please, I have to be on that flight. I'm so sorry, there's nothing I can do. <sighs> I swear, I have the worst luck in the world. I'm a good person. I try to do everything right, and still the universe screws me over. You know, I even came to the airport four hours early, and security decides to detain me for no reason except for the fact they thought I was someone else, and I missed my flight, and it's not even my fault. Let me book you on to the next flight, okay? Yeah, whatever. Oh, can you make sure I get the same seat though? I paid extra for that. 26A, it was the window and then the emergency row? Of course, your next flight is in six hours. Sir, I'm sorry, but you're not getting on this plane. What, why? I, I swear, I'm not drunk. I'll prove it to you. See, see, see? I, I can hop on one leg, see? See, see? I can even do a backflip. See, you want me to do it again? Sir, I'm still not letting you on this plane. I can even say that alphabet backwards. Z Y D B D D B D D B D B C D. Now will you let me on? No. Why? Okay. I swear, I just had one drink, sir. I don't care if you're drunk. I had a little some myself. You know what I mean. But uh, you just peed your pants. Oh. Today is Dexter's birthday and he turns 10 today. So let's give him the best day ever. He loves going on car rides and the park, but it was raining today. He hates the rain, so we'll go to the park tomorrow. First stop, we're going to In-N-Out to get his favorite puppy patty. For sure, if he could live off puppy patties, he would. If he had to choose between me or In-N-Out, In-N-Out would probably win. It's okay, I love In-N-Out too. Then we went to Starbucks to get a free puppuccino. He only ever had this once before, so this was a real treat. Kind of made more of a mess than actually eating it though. At home, I attempted to make a birthday cake out of his regular food clearly not a skill set of mine but it's the thought that counts right he's probably thinking i really don't care about this stuff just give me my dinner but i know he's really gonna care about his present earlier this year he was paralyzed and had to go through back surgery after a lot of therapy he's a lot better now so now he can play with his favorite toy a basketball and then for the rest of the night we did his most favorite thing in the entire world mommy cuddles i love you my baby happy birthday Excuse me, it's my first time flying. Do you think you can switch seats with me? It's my first time flying too, so sorry, no. But it's also his first time flying too, so. So what? Well, it's two against one. It's just simple math. Well then, how about you use your simple math to calculate the cost of my seat upgrade, compensation for my booking early services, and the emotional damage you're causing me right now. Pay me back and you can have this seat. Ma'am, you need to sit down, please. This person stole my dog's seat. What? And she's trying to break.
bribed me. What? And she hit me. I'm not even close to you. Okay, that's enough. Ma'am, I really need you to sit down, please. No, not unless you give us a window seat. Okay, well, the only window seat we have available left is the one reserved for our VIPs. Is that okay with you? That would be great. Thank you. I'll watch this little guy because there's no dogs allowed there. Wow, this is a nice seat. There's a reason why I'm getting the f off and everyone can either believe it or they cannot believe it. I don't give two f but I am telling you right now, that mother f that mother f back there is not real. And you can sit on this plane and you can f die with them or not. I'm not going to. This, hmm. Be nice. I'm finding it. It take you that long to it find does, it? It does, it uh, does. Hi, I saw that you didn't have any headphones, so I brought you some. No, I'm good. They hurt my ears. Oh, okay. Psst. I stole these from first class for you. Just don't tell anyone. No, I'm good. I'm on a diet. You sure? Looking at it makes me want to barf. Would you like some iced coffee? It's a special brew. Actually, yeah, I would love one. Excellent! <gasps> Ooh, I actually like my coffee black. Forget it. So I'm looking at your resume and it says on here that you could speak Korean? Yes, I put that on there because I could speak Korean depending on what you're offering. Can I get some more information on that? We offer a dollar more for Korean speakers. And is that negotiable? No, I'm sorry, it's not negotiable. That's been the going rate for a while now. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, I only speak a little bit to Korean. I mean, I could go up to 150. Oh, for one dollar fifty, I could do speak Korean. 조금 할수 있습니다. Okay. I see what's going on here. Look, we really need a Korean speaker, so I'm willing to go up to 250. Excuse me. Hi, is everything okay? There's a creep behind me that keeps staring at me. Did he say something to you? No, he just keeps staring. You know, maybe he's just staring forward and it just looks like he's staring at you? I don't think so. All right, uh, let me just see what's going on. Thank you. Excuse me, sir, is everything okay? No, the creep in front of me keeps staring back at me. Find everything you need today? Yeah. Great, okay. Yeah. Oh, God. No. Everything okay, ma'am? Oh, uh, it's just that you've only scanned a few items and it's already 60 bucks. Uh, I'm so scared. Okay, I'm a trained professional, ma'am. I've scanned a lot of groceries. I need you to stay with me. It's just that my in-laws are in town and they want a charcuterie board. Well, this isn't going to be easy, so I need you to be brave, all right? What's your name? Patricia. Patricia, all right. I need you to take a deep breath. We're about to do the cheese. <gasps> oh, my God. Guys, Black Friday's here, and of course we're going to shop on Amazon because they got everything, and we love deals, right? This is also the perfect time to buy a gift for that special someone for the holidays, and we're going to use this filter, the Amazon Deal Roulette, and this is actually going to help us figure out who we're going to buy a gift for. My dog! Dexter! Of course! Dexter, my favorite person in the world! Okay, what are we going to buy you, Dexty? I'll buy you anything. A basketball hoop! <gasps> Dexter, your favorite thing is to play basketball! You love basketball! <gasps> yes! I'm gonna get you a hoop and why? Why, why, why am I getting you something? Cause you winked at me! I love you, baby! Mm. It's called a beanie. It's a tube. Parking garage? You need a parkade? It's a garbage disposal. It's a carburetor! Bag. Bag. Bag! Bag. 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 For sure I'm right on this one. It's Szechuan. It's Saskatchewan? Whatever you say, eh? Okay, negative 35 freezing temperature. It's zero. 
okay? Zero. Like the rest of the world would make sense. Zero. Oh, oh, Just use Corsair's hyaluronic acid cleansing oil. It melts away your blackheads. Oh. Oh. Hi, ma'am. May I take your bags? Yes, please. Alrighty, we're all set. And here is your boarding pass. Thank you. Excellent. And one final thing. The screen is going to ask you a quick question. Thank you. Uh, I'm sitting on 19C. Let me show you. Thank you. Here is your seat and the screen will ask you a quick question. Oh. Um. Hurry up. Oh, sorry. Hi, ma'am. Would you like any snacks? They're free. Yes, please. Sure thing. And the screen is just going to ask you a quick question. I thought these were free. Yep, they are. Here you go. Thank you, you're so sweet. You're welcome. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. Just going into labor, is there a doctor on board? Really, no doctors? Uh, well, if there's no doctors, I'm a gardener. I don't think that helps. Well, we create life. You should have seen the 12 pound cucumber I pulled out my garden yesterday. Yeah. No. No, no. A gardener should not be delivering this baby. It should be me, an Amazon delivery driver. Thank you, but that's not what we need right now. I mean, if she has Amazon Prime, I can deliver the baby same day guarantee. That's not the type of delivery we need right now. Anyone else? If there's anyone else that's more qualified to get this baby out, it's me. Are you a doctor? Uh, no, but I'm a minor and, you know, I've got experience taking things out of holes. You know what I mean? Please. Anyone else? I'm all caught up on 19 seasons of Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, okay. Mmm. Mom, where'd you get this persimmon? It's so good. Oh, you like it? Okay. What the? Mom, we, we gotta, gotta finish all of this. A stranger waved at me today, so obviously I waved back, only to realize she wasn't waving at me, she was waving at someone else. So obviously I just kept waving. I waved until a taxi finally picked me up and made my way to the airport, where I got on the next flight available and jumped off the plane. <laughs> Sweetie, put your shoes back on. It's so dirty. No, it's only dirty outside. I know this looks like inside, but we're actually outside. Huh? I don't get it. Well, you have to wear shoes outside, right? Yeah, because doggy pee pee poo poo on the floor. Well, people pee pee poo poo on the floor on the plane. Yeah. Checking in? Yes, just me and the baby. Okay, so for your baby, it'll be an extra $300. Oh no, she doesn't need her own seat. She'll be sitting on my lap. I know, it'll still be $300. I thought babies under two five for free. They do. The $300 is a service fee and taxes. The airfare is free. Wow. I'll be right back. Checking in for one, please. I can't sit near the bathrooms. Find me a better seat. I'm sorry, ma'am. Uh, this is a full flight and there are no other seats available. Well, go check again. Certainly. L let me go check and I'll be right back. Money. Oh, excuse me. Can you please turn off the turbulence? I'm trying to meditate and it's very disruptive. Uh, all I can do, sir, is offer you some earplugs. Sure, because that will help me with the turbulence. Okay, so let me just grab this for you and I'll be right back. Money. Lindsay, you won't believe what just happened. Every single time I help a rude passenger, money just appears on my hand. Huh? Yeah, I know. Money. What I really want to see is that. Money. Did you know that Singapore is known as the fine city? Not because of how fine the city looks, but because of the many strict laws enforced by hefty fines. First up, 
do not smoke outside of designated areas because you puff, you pay $1,000. No peeing in elevators. First of all, who the heck does that anyways? But if you do, $500 fine. If you like feeding animals, don't do it in Singapore because a piece of bread will cost you $1,000. Thinking of riding on this? Don't you dare drink or eat. That's a $500 fine. Are you a litter bug? That'll be $1,000. I think that's justified. Did you forget to flush? $150 fine. I like this one. Do you like playing with these? You're gonna get the cane. That's right. The cane. Okay, now guys, this is very important, so listen up, because in some countries, this is fine. But here, this is a death sentence. You get the death penalty. I know this looks kind of cool, but if you do this in Singapore, you get some jail time and the good old cane. I actually learned of all of this while I was in Singapore as well, because I saw it on a t-shirt. Things at Singapore's hawker centers that just make sense. It doesn't matter what kind of food you want, they probably have it. It's so convenient. Your choices are endless. All the kiosks are numbered and in order, so if you lose your friends, you just tell them the kiosk number. Food is so affordable. Finally, you can eat out without breaking the bank. All menu items have photos and an open kitchen so you can see what you're ordering. And to save your table, people just leave their belongings behind. It's so safe, nobody will take it. People leave their phones, purses, and shopping. And if someone does take it, it's Probably a tourist. Ladies, do you eat the cum? Oma! Where? You should eat lots of cum. It's a good for you. Oh my god. I have lots of cum. You take home, okay? Oma, you can't use the Korean word for this in front of my non Korean friends. Oh, where? Because it sounds like you're saying. Ooh! Right, so the total comes to $82.66. 80 bucks? I just got two things. Okay, um, I don't know. I'll just get I'll just get this one then, thanks. Okay, so your total comes to $2,185.25. Okay, let me just check my purse. Um I don't I don't think I have enough money. Well, you do have like 10 of these. They're very similar. Did you just want to take some of these out? Um, are you stupid or something? Those are all different. How do you even work here? I'm sorry, I was just trying to help. So then, how would you like to pay for this? Mom, I need your wallet! Can I have a Coke, please? For the 10th time. Of course. Oh, um, can I have some ice in it? I didn't ask for ice before, but okay. Um, can I have a blanket, please? Of course. Here you go. Oh, and also a pillow. Are these peanuts gluten-free? Let me look at the packaging for you. Yeah, it says it's gluten-free. Can I get some special brownies or some edibles? How did you get past security? Hey, I'm trying to sleep and the engines are so loud. Could you just turn them off? <sighs> Where did everyone go? me how can I get an upgrade you pay for it does that answer your question yeah